The Aizu Basin is a secluded area surrounded on all sides by majestic mountains with numerous freshwater springs providing crystal clear water throughout the valley. And it is here that you will find the hardworking people of Aizu who maintain a strong regional identity to this day. The Sigma Lens factory was founded here in Aizu where access to this pristine water was essential for polishing lenses. Now the people of Aizu are fiercely proud of the traditions that have been passed down since the time of the samurai. There is a spirit of independence, of dedication to hard work, craftsmanship, and loyalty. And it is this same spirit that the Sigma company holds true at its core. I'm Chris Nichols, this is Petapixel, and today we're gonna to bring you inside the Sigma factory in Aizu to learn about the passion that goes behind its optics. Hey, it's Jordan Drake, the guy who edits these videos, and lucky for you, throughout the rest of this Sigma tour, you're going to be hearing the lovely voice of Chris Nichols. But sometimes you don't have access to world-class vocal talent like that, and that's why I'm really excited about audio's new tool, Voices. Let me give you an example of how voices can work. I was recently editing our annual best and worst episode and I had some on-screen text where some narration would really help, but it was kind of silly when I used my own voice since I'm always on camera for it. And this was a real last minute edit. So thankfully I could just record by voice reading with the exact delivery that I wanted, send it over to Audio's voices tool, and I could choose from one of Audio's over 20 different voices to replace that. What you're about to witness is one of the most embarrassing things. things ever captured by a camera. To make it palatable, it has been cut into a montage set to ragtime music. So you can see this is a very powerful tool, but you need an Audio Pro Plus membership in order to access it. But don't worry, I can help you out. Because if you use coupon code VOICES40, you can get 40% off of an annual Audio Pro Plus membership, which also includes a bunch of wonderful tools to make your life a lot easier. So you should definitely check it out because this offer is only available for a limited time. And thank you so much to Audio for sponsoring this episode. While many, if not all, other Japanese camera optics manufacturers have shifted production outside of Japan in some capacity, Sigma remains fully committed to manufacturing all of its products in Aizu, Japan. Petapixel had visited the factory previously, but we returned to take a closer look at just what makes Sigma capable of not only producing some of the finest optics photographers can ask for, but also doing so affordably while continuing to be a major employer of the region. There are many who would argue that the combination of quality, affordability, and local production simply cannot be sustained. So why can Sigma do it? And what makes its method special? When describing lens manufacturing, it's easy to get enamored by the romance of glass and metal, but there are other important components that need to be made as well. For example, Sigma has in-house electrical component mounting divisions where machines mount electrical components onto the circuit boards for both cameras and lenses. And Sigma has been manufacturing its own circuit boards for about 40 years. Sigma has multiple machines that can mount these electrical components onto circuit boards with high speed and ultra high precision. Once these pieces have been assembled, a quality control team checks to ensure each PCB is functioning correctly before they move on to be used in Sigma cameras and lenses. Sigma not only makes a vast majority of its own metal parts for its lenses and camera bodies, it also manufactures its own metal and plastic tools, including the molds, the dies, and jigs that are also required to make each part of a Sigma product. These sections of the factory are the metal processing division and the tool and die manufacturing division. Having these particular divisions in-house is a step many manufacturers might choose to skip as it requires a huge investment in lathes, machining centers, multitasking CNC machines, and specialized machines for cutting screws, gears, and other small, specialized parts. These pieces need to be very precise, often down to a micron scale, and Sigma is able to do this in-house. Sigma's factories can process parts as small as one millimeter in diameter. Sigma not only makes the small parts that come together to form its cameras and lenses, it also makes the tools that make those small parts. If a particular part is needed for a brand new design, odds are high that Sigma can create that part itself rather than have to work with another factory, which would take longer and cost more. In this way, Sigma can operate on its own schedule and ensure its own precision quality. 
This section of the factory is also in charge of processing the Sigma BF camera bodies out of a single thick aluminum ingot using the latest in five axis machining technology, as well as its automated loading and unloading machines to aid in keeping up with demand for this highly sought after product. Sigma even has a team of robots that are responsible for loading and unloading these CNC machines. And yes, they sing while they work. While Sigma's factory is full of machines and use quite a bit of automation, there are still steps it prefers to do by hand. For example, its color inlay team, which is part of its plasticity division, is where the recessed lettering is applied by hand by skilled inlay technicians. While it's not used in all Sigma products, this inlay design helps protect lettering from being worn away over time. These inlays are painted individually, proof of Sigma's handcrafted quality claims. Again, meticulous quality control checks are carried out in this division, this time at each station to ensure the lettering is applied precisely. By this point, it should not come as a surprise that Sigma is especially proud of its glass work. While Sigma designs and manufactures cameras and other photographic accessories today, its start was always in optics, giving it over 60 years of lens processing expertise in its pursuit of mastering the craft. In Sigma's factory, glass elements were individually ground and precision polished as thinly as hundreds of a millimeter by hundreds of machines and technicians producing tens of thousands of lens elements every day. Of course, there's no lack of quality checks in this division either, with precision curvature measurement ensuring that each lens element is in line with its rigorous specifications. After reviewing final precision polishing and passing internal quality control tests, the lens elements receive one or two of Sigma's specialized anti-reflective coating processes, super multi-layer coating and or the nanoporous coating, which are applied to reduce flare and ghosting, as well as to give its lenses clear image quality. Before being carefully loaded and sent to the coating machines, every single lens element is inspected to ensure it is free of dust or other lens imperfections which could compromise the coating's effectiveness. Another proof of the hand craftsmanship used in Sigma lenses is the use of a special black coating, integral in minimizing ghosting and reflections, which is applied by skilled technicians by hand to the outer diameter of lens elements. When it was mentioned how closely tied Sigma's process is to the Izu region, that includes this hand painting process. The method by which Sigma applies this coating harkens back to Izu's history of fine lacquerware production, which is still performed in the region today. Those techniques have modern applications as this is an extremely delicate process, and as a result, it is extremely difficult to automate it. So Sigma continues to foster that human element. This application in particular requires a great deal of skill and experience to master. And so it's these camera bodies, these optics, the culmination of all of that hard work, determination, expertise, and craftsmanship. And be able to build these beautiful products by controlling every single stage of quality control and production from start to finish that makes Sigma unique. We've had a very long relationship with Sigma. We're very grateful for that. And you know, Back when we first started that relationship, Sigma was telling us that they were interested in becoming like Zeiss, you know, somebody that can make interesting premium optics. But I believe that they've far surpassed that now. I mean, Sigma is no longer like a third party manufacturer. They make their own camera bodies and they want to make lenses that aren't just copies of what the other manufacturers are doing, but instead make truly unique products and really add to that whole conversation and build that whole photo culture. 
I can absolutely say that the Petapixel team is very appreciative of being given this opportunity to look at the Sigma Optics Lens Factory in Aizu, Japan in a far deeper way. Really get to learn about the people, the craftsmanship, and all the work that goes behind it. We've had a fantastic time, and I hope you guys have as well, to see what makes Sigma so unique. I'm Chris Nichols. This is Petapixel. We'll see you soon with more.